All right, so the first thing I'm gonna show you how to do is how to import your existing contacts to your Ascend and Blue account. That's for everybody that has been using another email marketing provider in the past or people that already have an email list and they switch to Send and Blue. So they need to import their contacts into the Send and Blue account. If you don't already have any contacts, just go down to the description of the video and click on the next part of this tutorial, which will show you how to set up the branded email address and set up your emails and automations. But now we're gonna get started with setting up, um, with importing the contacts. So how we do this is by going to the top left and then we click on contacts. Now you only have one contact in there right now, which is your own email address. So what we want to do is go to the top right and click on import contacts. Now what I, was, what I would strongly suggest is that you download your email contacts as a CSV file from your other email marketing provider and then you can upload it by clicking on this button here. That will make things a lot easier. So let's do that now. I'm just gonna click on upload a file and I will upload a sample file so that you can see how it looks when you upload your email contacts. So I just click on select your file and dra or drag and drop it here. I just click on it and then I wanna I'm gonna look for it. I have a sample file just for this tutorial. So let's just see where it is. Okay, so this one. Okay, so I have just some sample emails in there and one of my emails. So it's just three emails. Um, for you, it's probably gonna be a bigger list. So I'm just gonna click on confirm your file. Okay, so when you have uploaded your email list, you will get to this step here, which says mapping data. And most email marketing providers, they collect a lot more data than simply the email address and the name. They also collect things like IP addresses and a lot more other stuff. So if you have those data or this data inside of your email list, you wanna um, tell Send and Blue what this data should um, relate to. So for example, they already, or it already recognizes that the email address is here, that's the email. So you have the names, for example, here on this side, and then you wanna tell Send in Blue that this is actually a name so that you can save this data here as a name. So we just wanna use this one as the first name because for me, I always just capture the first name. So um, for me, that's already enough, that's all I wanna um, import into my account simply the name and the email address because that's all I'm going to use anyway. I'm not going to use any of the IP addresses, so um, that's all I need. So I can go scroll down and um, move on from there. So just scroll down and click on confirm mapping once you have assigned all of the data to a specific um, column. So conf click um, confirm mapping and then you will have to select a list where you want to put those contacts in. So for me, um, I'm going to use, I'm going to click on this list right here called YouTube subscribers. Um, you probably will only see one list in your account. Um, so you can click on your first list, which is the list that everybody has when they um, sign up for a new Send in Blue account. So I'm gonna use the YouTube subscribers list here for me and click on confirm list. So now we need to finalize our import. So we have some more options here. Uh, the first one means that if you already have the email address inside of your Send in Blue account, that they will change the data that you have just uploaded. So um, you probably won't have any emails in your account yet. So you can turn this on or turn it off. It doesn't really matter. So I'm just gonna leave it as it is and all of the stuff below, I'm gonna leave it as well. And now we have to also confirm that we actually have the permission to put those emails inside of our account so that they have actually um, voluntarily opted into our email list. So we just click on, I confirm that um, my new import adheres to these conditions. You can read it for yourself. And then we click on confirm your import. Okay, so now we have imported our contacts into the Send and Blue account and we see import has been completed and these email addresses along with the first name that we have assigned is now in our email list.